Okay. So this one stuck in my memory quite well. Uh, Zidonius. Uh, the game is weird. It goes from like the first two, your you got two chapters per fiend. And then after a while it goes, oh, we, we don't have enough, like, fuck it, like, just, um... Uh, I can't remember if stuff was cut for Sigma. We come to a section where I'm like, I'm pretty sure there was a tank boss here. How your hubris has grown in the few short millennia we have been away. He looks kind of dorky. Have forgotten the era when only the mercy of the Archfiend kept your lowly species alive? You ungrateful monkeys. When wow. High infernal priest Dagradai resurrects and restores the Archfiend to power, you will learn your true place on this earth. On behalf of his lordship Dagradai, I deliver you an ultimatum. Submit or die. Ready to fire, sir. Like, this fire! looks like a super Russian thing, but it's like very American voice actors. It's very weird. I'm not saying they should make fake an accent, but that guy's wraparound shades Repent. scream American you military. Are in the presence of a greater fiend! I am Zedonius, ruler of flame! Beam attack. Literally every beam attack. Uh, I, I like Zedonius' voice. I think he looks like dorky Satan. He's like, yeah, he, he, I'm Satan. That's what I think he looks like, but he has like a really cool voice actually, so. Like Satan's butler slash librarian. Also, he's got that weird again. I don't understand it because I'm dumb. But I saw it as well with uh, Jim Patchy in Dark Resurrection because I played the shit out of that game so much. What is it with my Japanese demon has a tummy? face. He has one face and he has a fake fake face on his tummy and sometimes it has pointy teeth too and it's like yeah, ha, ha, I can eat you with my tummy. Like also uh, Goliath in uh, Devil May Cry 5 where it's like what, what's with the tummy teeth? Like I, you really see it in like one specific style of demons from in Japanese video games and like it's just something that no one has ever explained to me and I just don't understand it. I'm sure there's like a cultural reason like oh the demons from Japanese folklore regularly have tummy teeth. I don't know. All well, they think is scary looking. Folklore, and they are pretty good at being unnerving and strange. Dead. We're back to our old friends, the Tonifers. We're trying to get the Tonifers over. They got a cool idea. But, uh, limited range and the amount of hits you have to do to, like, really get stun and damage up is, like, you know, it can be a bit of a tough one. Is that range, man? As you can see here, I'm kind of like, ah, fuck. So I change. Something with a bit of reach. And then get wrecked with that as well. Get wrecked. Stop punching me! No! It's really hard when you're de dealing with these guys close up because they take up like so much of the fucking camera, is just biomechanical limbs and this. I, I don't know. Oh, accidental button press. Like, every time you see me use that, it's because I've accidentally lent on it. 
and I've gone, oh, oh. I how to cancel, can't cancel, okay. So I always feel like shit for using it, because it feels like a cheat, almost. It's like a gameplay mechanic, but it feels too easy on easy mode to be using that, so I'm too lazy to be playing on, like, the higher difficulty right now. Maybe some other time. Yeah, thanks. The f fuck off! <laughs> Look at this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot you point blank with my rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. Why is this here? Uh, it's just a cool dome. Okay, moving on. <coughs> so there's quite a variety of different environments again, kind of like the uh, Aqua Capital area. It's, it's cool, it's got different things in each area, but it's, it's kind of just a city. Good. Deb. Herb. It's okay, but it's a bit of a pain for traversal, and there's these guys spamming rockets at you the whole time, and it's a bit like that. Uh... I'm kind of like split in my decision on who I should be aiming for, and I'm just like, kind of like, okay, I guess I'm just gonna. Wipe out the melee guys first, because I'm here. Use the Luna stuff. But like, they're really annoying, those missile launcher guys. So aggressive. What the hell, man? Is there a box? There's not. A weird shop with not much a layout. Okay. Ah. This other guy. Oh shit. Easy to fall off. Slow as fuck to get back up. And there's another way you can like swallow jump or whatever it's called. Swan dive, I don't know. <laughs> back up. But it's just like all this like I would hike the seven seas just to shoot this one guy so I can progress because he's just gonna stand there spamming a ranged attack. It's just like oh fuck's sake, you know. Like this too. Big excite. I'm supposed to be going that way. Okay. I'm sure there's a box up here, but I'm too lazy to get it done. It's just gonna be another herbal mushroom. It's uh just, you know. Time for the claws. Ah, yeah, this area. The we didn't texture in mines really, but we gonna make you, if you touch certain areas, it's gonna go, ha ha ha, fuck you, there was a mine there. So follow these footprints. And if you step a millimeter off the footprint, it will insta blow you up. 
because a light dusting of snow covers a claymore. This area is just like bullshit to like fight in and they make you fight in it and this happens if you touch the snow so you're just like uh, okay guess I'm just having a bow fight with rocket launcher spammers because otherwise I get blown up for moving too far from a square foot of area. It's just like why? Why? It's not even a bad area it's just like it's like why are you trying to frustrate me? Now like, now what do I do? There's snow, I think. Ah, there's footprints. Mushroom. And then there's this area. And these explode here because it's a snowbank. Because fuck you. Speed. Oh god damn it. We need to just. Yeah. Wow, the sound design was not ready for me to blow them up at the same time. It just starts screaming. So there's a secret here on the right that I actually never found before and was like, all forgot about. Just some dude, and he, he has a mushroom in the chapter challenge, but maybe he has something cooler in the uh, standard story. I'll have to check if I got him last time. This is an interesting area, but it's a whole like waste of an asset because you don't really fight much in this area. It's like, oh, fight a couple of dudes, I guess, in this giant grand area, and then move on and forget about it. Which is a lot of this game, I have to admit. Most of Vol's Castle, you're sat there like... Is it because I'm playing on easy? And there's supposed to be more enemies in each room? Like, what is this? Maybe. I should have checked beforehand if there were any actually major changes between uh, difficulty levels. Because, yeah, games like this, sometimes they'll go, oh yeah, you're literally missing out on content if you play on easy mode because we couldn't be bothered to balance it or couldn't balance it. Some games go as far as going, yeah, you don't get a final boss, like, because fuck you. Played it on easy, you don't get the final boss. Which, uh, yeah, like, I kind of get that attitude, but at the same time, it's kind of shutting off some of your, like, audience who might be, like, just less capable, but still want to play the game and want to give it a try at a level they understand. I always felt like it's a bit of a dick move, but at the same time, I get it. It's your choice if it's your game, but... It's this little door here. So this big grand hallway, and you're, then you're just in a tiny area like this. Very strange. Reminds me of like a chapel. Maybe it is a chapel. Like you should definitely say in your game when selecting difficulty. Warning, if you select this difficulty, oh fuck. <laughs> um, you will miss out on content. Like literally you will miss out on content. So yeah, don't take this lightly, like... Ow! I keep clipping onto that and fucking it up. Because I'm jumping and I shouldn't jump, like... I think. Let's try again. Ow, it's not this one. Let's try again again. Now it's too low. If I don't jump, it's too low. If I jump, it reads the, the stair well as, like... The side of the stair is like a surface. Oh, fine, I've done it. Bell. Bell. Jump. One of the pole sections. Wait, wait, wait. There, there, there you go. There we go. There's a box. 
it, I always confuse myself by going for the box here, and then I'm like, cool, I got a box, uh, okay, and then I could go the wrong way, or I just don't know where I'm, you know, because it's like a big area, and I'm like, fence. This guy was ready to stab me with his missile, so I should go down here, I think. But it looks identical to the way I came up. So I'm a bit like, eh. well, maybe there's something here. Like, there's this big war torn area down there where Zadonius blew everyone up. It feels like that used to be an area that you fought something in, but I might just be misremembering. And like, there's this whole area here that has nothing in it. I think it used to, it has a crystal skull in here normally in your first playthrough because. Otherwise, it's just this, this is wasted real estate. Like, why put this secret area here and it has nothing? It's got to be the crystal skull, right? Oh, it doesn't matter. I guess I'm going here. I could just jump down the middle, but I'm like, oh, you know, there might be something cool. Probably not. There is not. Ah. Well, I did it the boring way, everyone nothing areas. Oh! <laughs> These fuckers are back. I forget that they're in this level. Oh no. I'm, I'm so angry about these fish. That's not all of them. That whole area down there, that passageway is just filled with fish for no reason. Like, there's no water area, I don't think, in this area. They're just underground now. Like ghost fish just hang out in jail, busted old jails. They're just chilling. And they manage every fucking time to hit me because I aim for them and they fly past me and double back. Just oh, I just don't like them. Oh. I've gone back. I saw that fish. Look at them. Oh, look at them. I hate fighting them. They're just a nuisance, they don't do anything. I mean, I didn't have to go that crazy about it, but like, and they still fucking hit me. Where are they coming from? Like, these ghost fish. So now we're just here in like a the most grand train sub sub train station metro station that I've ever seen. Box. And again, there's not very much in here. There's just this big grand set design. That's just here and could have been used for something really cool and instead is just yeah here's a guy who's gonna stand at the opposite end of this giant hall and spam rockets. You're just like really? Look at this shit. The way to be the most annoying characters in the game. The fish in him. They're like buddies. You'd be more frustrated about them though if um, they were more of a threat. Like, because I'm playing on easy, but also because you can just dodge their rockets. Like, if you, it's just them in a big open area, you can just go around them and you're just like. You're annoying and you're not even like effective. Dead. Chopper, chopper. Look at this nerd. I'm gonna stand on the other side of the hallway and pipe out you rockets. What's an ammo limit? Oh, <laughs> I'm the lame ninja who can't use swords, so they gave me a rocket launcher. And now you're dead. So and now we have to go all the fucking way back to, because the tra train doors are open now. And don't you feel like the train is huge? 
the area is huge. It makes you feel like you're small. Like it was just built at the wrong measurements to the rest of the game. And then they were like, oh, it looks kind of weird. Dead guy just hanging out on a bed with his grains. Green gains and the empty bar and the, the nothing. So much of this game is like, is so much of this level is just like there's just a fuck ton of nothing. But you know, is is the gun car? You know, every train has the car filled with M16s. Screen is shaking, and you can hear a la uh, like a low dum dum. Guess which sub boss returns here, and no, it's not Motorhead Fish. Although that would be rad. It's the faceless Resident Evil guy. Ow! Ow! I don't want your halitosis attack, but just let me hit you. Spinning around. Better get out of his way. He knows we're feeling it. I forget the rest of the <laughs> like his health bar goes down quickly, and you can just kind of duck around. And he punches your face, and he punches your face again, and then he kind of farts in your general direction and you go flying. Time for my game greens. Yes, we're all very impressed by your death metal screaming. Like, the fact that you walk into this area and like a Dark Souls boss, except there's no name or anything, you just walk in and he's there. There's no opening cutscene. You just walk into the room and he's just like, sup. And like, like there's no fanfare. Like, I'm finishing him off here. And he's like, oh, my face. Oh, Your there is a. path is one of sound and fury, ultimately signifying nothing. None have survived the purgatory of my flames. Not even those of the dragon lineage. All that remains is the memory of fire. Okay. Endlessly <laughs> repeating again and again. Please, I'm not going to even answer this guy's dissing. Yeah, and like the ending cutscene for that sub boss is nothing to do with the sub boss. And also, what the hell is this? Just oh, it it's a bookshelf that fell down. I was just like, why is there a giant wooden square here? When I first played, I bet you there are fish. Book. The role of the king of the darkness. King of darkness. Ozzy Osborne's dad? Being called Vazda Osborne. Got it. Um, strange creatures called the Fiends. <laughs> and then the insane king was just like, lol, watching his country collapse. And then he was like, oh, look, there's a guy, and he just can control the Fiends. Let's, let's hang out. Maybe two weeks, something, something. Oh, fish. Too many fishes. Well, this, this is open, but there's nothing in it. Maybe there was a skull again. Every time I go into an open area that just seems like there would be something here, it's just like, I'm okay, I guess there was nothing. Or oh, there was a skull up here. Right? 
By the way, it actually does benefit you a little if you're starting off these games for the first time to actually play on an easy difficulty and then play on a more challenging one later if you've got the time. Uh, because, yeah, like, collecting as many crystal skulls as you can means that, like, in later playthroughs, you can just kind of go, oh, I've got all these crystal skulls, that means all of the items in the shop are cheaper. So if I need more healing items, I'm not going to, like, put myself in a situation where I don't have enough points or anything. But this is more of a problem in the original game where you had to pay for upgrades for your weapons too. And now, you can't, and they're just given to you at set points in the game. You get to choose, but it's like you get to choose one at certain checkpoints and um, certain shops. Like I thought I was being clever by swimming in the water, but then I don't know where I am, so. Yeah, and um, if you're planning to play it on the hardest difficulty, it's a little more helpful to have that bonus and with, you know, to kind of have all of the upgrades. But, like, um, you know, it's not that big of a deal anymore. They've really lowered the need for you to get crystal skulls unless you're really into achievements because you're never buying healing items because they give them to you and um, there's nothing else to spend the money on. They turn into proud souls like from DMC 4 where it's just like there's nothing left to spend these on and I don't need them. To be fair that's red orbs and like other DMC games too where you're just like I bought all the upgrades and I can buy these items I never use because I forget they exist. You got a holy water, and I'm like, I'm sorry, a what? <laughs> Vital star? Okay. What is the in game explanation for the vital star? Eating stars? At least in this game, it's the herbs. So there's this big area out here, and it feels like there was a tank, optional tank fight. But I may just be misremembering something. I was like, yeah, there's an optional tank fight in this area. I swear, and like when I tried it in vanilla, I got wrecked. And it's, it's not here anymore, and I'm like, I think I'm just crazy. I'm gonna look it up later, but I'm pretty sure it's just, I'm crazy. So yeah, just ignore this big area we also rendered. Kind of, can't jump out here, like nothing. Hard locks you out of it. I really gave it a cursory look my first playthrough and I thought maybe uh, I went the wrong way and there's a split path here. And then I looked at it here and was like, no, it's just, there's nothing. Okay, there's uh, rubble here, there's a shop there, and now there we go. Ladders are for nerds. <laughs> Another clock tower. Wait, is, did I say another clock tower? There's, there's something else with cogs, but like a windmill or something, or like a water mill in the Aqua Capital, but again, it's cog climbing. They love them cogs. I'm kind of like, wait, what? I'm going to jump over here. They fucked it up, but it's fine. Oh, it's nerds. Hello, nerds. I will throw you into the cog. And he kind of landed with a cartoonish, like, Durr. Oh, I fell down. Now, you'll see in a minute, this game really wants you to kill everyone, and it will straight up prevent you from progressing. Like, he cleaned his swords there, and I threw a guy on the floor, so remember him. I remember it just kind of fucked me a few times on a jump, and I was like, are you doing this because, uh... I left a guy at the bottom. They always get caught in this. See, there's a guy down there, and he just fucks up my jump like six or seven times. Some of them got caught in the gears. Yeah, 
remember that time before where enemies spawned and I was at the top of a jump and it just dropped me back down and was like, no, fight the dudes. I'm pretty sure something like that happens again here where it just goes, no, fight the dudes. Like, the illusion of being allowed to leave people behind. Look at him just shooting me as they spin. What a nerd. Duh, duh, no dear diary me, I'm too cool. I saw Master Genshin and he's real cool. I hope I'm cool. Man, that Daedalus ship sure is a waste of money. <laughs> they say they use the profits from the factory. I found a notebook of some other guy. Well, screw you. I don't know who Kushimaru is. You have to give me a hint here, buddy. I didn't play one. Joke's on him. I know I'm gonna die soon, right? Because I have a diary. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Clever humor. Uh, Kushimaru's notebook. Something, something, way of the path, generic. Oh, you must focus on your spirit and your mind. <laughs> flowery language that is so obsessed with, like, this kind of thing. Uh, anyway. Like, it straight up doesn't let me jump on that cog. Ah, it knocks me. Ah, fuck. And it knocks me back in because I did that. Yeah, so, like, that just straight up hard locked me from progress because that guy's down there, and now it won't let me grip these bars because he's stuck running in place. Yeah. I fixed your clog... clog? Cog clog? Problem? Now will you let me progress? Nope, I timed the jump badly. I could probably just grab the bar from there, but I'm doing things the hard way because I'm stupid. <laughs> Hey, just go with it. Ish, fine. I can swing on my thing. Swinging away. Yeah, this clock tower area is a lot of platforming, and it's not bad, it's just this it's pretty dry. <laughs> you know, you just, oh, I'm just gonna run up this thing, and I'm just gonna go up the cogs, and oh, look at me, I can jump up clog, clogs. I can jump up crocs. What is this? Is this a thing? No, it's not. Okay. What is this? The cogs aren't even touching. How are they moving each other? We fucked it up again. Okay, now what? Do I go up here? Oh. Pole. Ah, that's what those cogs are for. I've got to go over here. I think. Oh, this angle. Bad angle. Bad angle. Oh, someone left this box. Just why would you leave a box here? Uh, yeah, it's a lot of this. Uh, it's not a lot of anything else, so it's a bit dry, so yeah. Uh, anyone listen to the new Iron Maiden recently? <laughs> uh, whoa. It's nearly over. Nearly to boss fight. We'll go to the not big band. The, the, the Russian Big Ben. I don't have a joke for this. For the one who first bestowed the precious gift of fire upon you pitiful apes. You're not Prometheus. Was none other than I. Zedonius. Oh, like this is some flame. AU bullshit. That wasn't in my history book. Yeah. You are ignorant in the ways of the world as an infant in its cradle, ninja. Without my fire, the petty dreams of your species would never have taken flight. Yet your ancestors in the dragon lineage <laughs> Why tried you to give extinguish it to us? that flame. Do you not think that foolish? 
I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> My feelings exactly. Consume the last descendant. I don't care. <laughs> something, something, alternative history to fit myself into the importance of humanity. Makes no sense. Fuck you, shut up. You're ignorant. Fuck off. <laughs> like, don't you think it's dumb that you're trying to extinguish flame and it's like, literally all of my weapons are forged steel. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I use flame quite a lot. Mr. Photon Cannon. Mr. Ground Pound. Mr. Beam Super Spammer. Stop with the Kamehamehas. Okay, chill out, man. Eh, yeah, get it, chill. Oh man, he's just Yeah, we get it. You've got this you've got a punchy combo and you've got the inferno move. Righteous flames will cleanse the earth of your kind. I'm burning. Burning. Blar, Blarg! The pain! The pain! <laughs> Reed's like, I blew up another thing. Good for me. Newspapers of Russia read, Ninja destroys clock tower for no reason. You know it. You know it. 